Hi, my name is Rabbi Yang. I'm from Berkeley, California, and I'm a professor of magic. I came from Beijing, China when I was 14 years old, and I spoke really bad English. I had a hard time making friends at school, but this one time I was fiddling with my deck of cards, and people thought it was interesting. It was a big lesson for me. I decided that language separates us, and magic is a better way to communicate. I have a list of rules I've created which anyone can learn. Smile, relax, milk the moment. When I got into Berkeley, I designed a course in magic and got permission to teach it. Full course credit. So, for the taller, prepare to go back to school. One of the top young magicians working today, here's Ravi Yang. Well, thank you everybody. My name is Ravi Yang, and ever since I was young, I realized I have a very special power, a extrasensory ability to detect color. And today, I'm demonstrating that exact power using this cube and the help of Alison Hannigan. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Alison, very nice to meet you. My name is Rabbi. Would you please come behind the table? And Alison, there are six colors on the cube. There's white, red, blue, uh, yellow, green, and orange. Do you know how many different combinations this cube can make? A lot. A lot is a good answer. <laughs> 43 quintillion. Wow. Slightly less than my college tuition. <laughs> so what that means is that, you know, every time this cube is turned, it's likely to form a pattern that probably never existed before. Isn't that crazy to think about? It's like every turn you're making history. Yeah. But today I'm going to ask you to do something a little bit different. Instead of playing with it right here, I'm going to take this cube, put it behind your back, and turn it around just like so. Okay. Can you do that for me? Yes. Here, please take the cube. Of course, I'll look away for this whole time. And, uh, you know, once you feel ready, you may bring the cube out, place it on the table, cover all the sides except the top. So the only people who can see that side are you and the people watching at home. Okay. You got it? Yes. Okay, Alice, now I need to focus on that side and focus on the colors. I'm feeling five colors total on that side. Can you do a quick count, is that right? Yes. All right, which means, because we said there are six colors total, so there's one color that is missing, and I think that color is red. Yes. Oh, very interesting. You know, let's try it one more time. Allison, please, on the table, just flip the cube to another side that you like. Ah. Okay. Okay. That's very interesting, Allison. I think on this side, there are three whites. Yes. Two blues, mm -hmm. two greens, mm -hmm. and two oranges. Oh, no. One orange and one red. Yes! Can you show everyone? Is that correct? Yes! That's perfect. Well, thank you so much, Alison. I may take the cube. And you know what? That was actually just a warm-up for me. Now we are finally building onto the big thing. Are you excited? Yeah. I know I am. Are you excited? Yes! Okay, Alison, come with me. All right. Alison, you uh, remember how you turned the cube behind your back earlier? Yes. Could you just do that for me one more time and I'll look away for this whole sure, time? Sure, behind my back. Yeah, behind your back. Okay. And again, once you feel ready, you may bring the cube out and cover all the other sides. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Now, Alison. Yeah. You can look at that side. You know what? I'm giving you this ultimate decision. If you don't like that side, you can flip to another side you, that you want to. You don't have to, but it's your choice. Sure. Okay. Did you flip? Yes. Very well. Allison, focus on that side. I'm going to turn back. Do not let me see the cube when I turn back, okay? Awesome. Now, I'm going to turn back. Mm -hmm. Focus on the colors. I want you to do this. Focus on one of the colors first. Okay. Okay. Another one, please. Okay. Uh, just, just one more. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's do uh, one more. And I think there's one last color mm -hmm. on there. Yes. Okay. Allison, would you please come close to the board and put your cube to that side right next to the board? Show everyone. When you 
have two blues. I have two blues. We have two blues. That's two blues. Red. That's two white. That is the perfect match. My name is Gabby Yang. That was the power of color reading. Thank you so very much. You know, I'll never be able to solve this. But well, thank you for it. It's a good, you know, art piece to display yeah. at home, I suppose. So do you always work with the puzzle cubes? Oh, no. Actually, typically what I do is a stage sleight of hand manipulation. Oh, really? And then this is the first time ever I perform a mentalism routine on stage. Oh, really? So I'm trying to stretch myself a little bit for this theater. Am I correct in you just turned 21? I did just turn 21 and in you're September. In Vegas. Yeah. I am in Vegas. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, and just a point about that, uh, you know people saying magicians have a better chance of winning card games? That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's see if the guys have figured yeah, out how sure. you did your trick. You've caused us a lot of consternation. We are not agreeing on this. Oh, okay. Teller has one way you did it. I have another way you did it. Okay. We agree we liked the trick. No doubt about that. I don't care about what we agree about. We're going to the disagreement. I have a way I think you might have done it. I got that way. Teller's got a way he thinks you might have done it. Okay. I'm the one speaking. I get to choose which one we go with because we don't get two bites of the apple. And we're going to go with Teller. That way, if he's wrong, I still keep some of my dignity. <laughs> I can still believe that maybe I was right. So maybe you fooled him, but you didn't fool me. So I'm going to tell you what Teller thinks. Okay. Because I want Teller to be humiliated if he's wrong. <laughs> Teller thinks all this was done by you having an earpiece and an accomplice backstage. Let me rephrase this very carefully. Is Teller wrong? That I'm having a earpiece? You have an earpiece or do you have someone backstage? Nope, that was all done by myself. No earpiece ear involved. No one backstage. Yes. In that case, you fooled Teller. <laughs> Therefore, you fooled us.